Sometimes instead of finding trig ratios from a calculator or a book of tables, you'll be asked to uh, find the exact trig ratios. Now there are just three angles you'll be asked about here, and three acute angles that is, uh, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 45. Now the easiest way to remember how to find these is for the 60 and 30, draw an equilateral triangle, make each of the three sides two units. All the angles then are uh, 60 degrees. Uh, cut the triangle in half. That means that this side will be one unit long and you will have a 30 degree angle at the top. Now the Pythagorean theorem, which occurs a lot in mathematics, uh, tells us that this squared plus that squared equals the hypotenuse squared. Since that one is squared is 4, the uh, unknown side here has to be the root of 3 in order to make that work out. Now once you've got that triangle, you can get all the trig ratios of 60 and 30 from that triangle. For example, if you want the sine of 60, sine of 60 is opposite over hypotenuse. If you wanted the uh, sine of 30, sine of 30 is opposite over hypotenuse. You notice just the names change depending upon which angle you're using. These are the uh, six trig ratios here. Um, you notice that uh, there's some duplication. Uh, kind of hard to remember these and just memorize them. So what I suggest is remember how to draw this triangle and then if you need a trig ratio you can get it from the triangle rather than, than trying to memorize these. Uh, the other angle that's often asked about is uh, a 45 degree angle and that's easily remembered if you draw an isosceles triangle with a right angle. Make these sides one and one then again according to the Pythagorean theorem that hypotenuse has to be root 2. And once again from that triangle you can get all of your trig ratios. Um, sine of 45 is opposite over hypotenuse. You notice the cos and the sine are exactly the same for 45 degrees. And the tan of 45 is 1 because the opposite and the adjacent are both 1. And that's how to remember the trig ratios for 30, 45, and 60. In the next video I'll look at how these can be used to uh, find trig ratios of angles in a coordinate system.